to label France slow. No, Misha. My massive muscles. Hello there, world. And welcome back to Super Haul Sunday. Now, you may spot I'm in a similar background to where I was last Sunday. I really quite like this sort of like moving about situation. So I feel like I might make this my Super Haul Sunday spot because Super Haul Sunday is my favourite day of the week. I get very excited. I just, I can't help it. But today's Super Bowl Sunday is extra special because it's everyone's favourite. It's a ginormous summer Primark haul. Oh, they actually hurt my hands. They were really heavy because, you know, I've got my massive muscles that can take all the weight. Now, Primark is obviously a budget-friendly store that I absolutely love, but there are obviously some more pricey brands out there, even on the high street. So for today's video, I've actually teamed up with ShopTagger, and they are basically, my favourite word, basically a online platform that enables you to almost like track the items that you love so we may have seen in a recent vlog we went into zara and i tried on this cute little co-ord and i loved it but i didn't want to spend the money on it because i think it was like 40 or 50 in total which you yeah, know that's quite pricey so what a shop tagger does is you go onto the website, I'm going to show you guys exactly how it works, so follow along with me. You go on to your desired website and then, yep, you see the item, it's there, it's chilling, it's still expensive. Then you click on your little shop tagger icon that you've downloaded from the site and from there you can track the items, you can click which colour you want, which size you want and for it to notify you when it's got reduced by half price, 25% or just any reduction in price, which is brilliant. So that's exactly what I did on that Zara 2 piece, I'm going to be keeping an eye on it and then it basically just gets saved to your shop tagger files and you then get an email when the item goes down in price. So it's honestly such a brilliant concept and thank you Shop Tiger for sponsoring this video because not all clothing can be as cost effective as Primark. So Shop Tag is looking out for us so that, you know, they can get us those bargain deals. I will of course link the site down below and you can also download the app. So if you're a phone shopper or a PC shopper, I got you covered. But we're gonna get a wiggle on with this haul. Okay, I really feel like a St. Trinian's in this outfit. I'm not quite sure why. I'm like, St. Trinian's, we do as we damn well please. Misha, please shut up. Anyway, this outfit actually kind of stole it from Lissy Roddy, kind of didn't. So I bought this, well no, this skirt was bought for me as a birthday present um, back in like late February and then Lissy Roddy had this skirt and then posted on her Instagram story this shirt, it's from H&M and as soon as I saw it, and I know it's not quite the exact pattern but I'm like YOLO and all that, I had to pick it up. So let me know what we're making this little outfit. My space buns didn't quite go to plan today but we're gonna, I'm gonna just shut up and start doing Primark. No Misha. Okay, okay. Now this gorgeous just I don't, I don't even know what to call this. It's like a little bra, well, it is a bikini top. That, that is what it's called. So technically Misha, yes. Ooh, fancy. Now I know you're probably looking at this and thinking, that looks quite big for you Misha. Now the smallest that they did in this bikini top was a six. So that is what I got. And I was kind of concerned that it would look like I was wearing my mum's bra, but actually it, kind of makes me look like I have little boobs, so I'm quite digging that. It's like a mesh style, I don't know if you guys can see the cacti. Who doesn't want cacti boobies? So yes, it's so cute, it's got really thick straps, so if you do have boobs to hold up, it's got show back. It's got one of those clicky thingies at the back, which I appreciate because no one wants a tie or a little hook. Imagine, ba-bam. Now, no one wants a ba-bam. Unless that's the look they go for. This was six pounds. They did have matching bottoms, but I don't know about you guys. I'm not a massive fan of Primark bikini bottoms. So I just went for the top. I plan on wearing the shorts or other matching bottoms that I have because you know you can mix and match bikinis. That's okay. How cute is this bikini top? I've just 
did something with some black bottoms, but I genuinely think that if I was going to wear this, I would wear this with like a pair of shorts or something like that, and I'd actually make it part of my outfit. So like some dark green shorts, some emerald green accessories, everything like that, bright pink shorts. Next up, we have these little denim shorts. Now, these were quite pricey for Primark, I won't lie. They were £17, which I think is a lot for denim shorts. But then again, if you think about how much places like Topshop would charge, it's, it's like okay. They are really good quality and I was worried, well I am worried that they're not going to fit nicely. But I'm hoping that they will. They're very Misha because they're like a really light wash denim. But then I always feel like my denim shorts are just a bit plain and bland. But these have sparkles on them. Yes, they have full on massive diamante crystals. So I saw them and I was like... They're calling my name, they are so Misha, so I had to pick them up. I would say with Primark shorts, I would size up. So these are a six, and I feel like they they look like they'll fit me. So yeah, that's something to consider. I feel like Primark's denim maybe isn't as stretchy as other denims, so they come up smaller, if you catch my drift. But yeah, love them. Also, I don't think my bum's gonna be too that much, too that much out. That too much out, too much, no out too much out that much don't know my whole butt isn't going to be out which is good because i don't want to be hanging out chillaxing chillaxing all cool and a couple of guys who up to <gasps> do i look like the fresh prince of bel-air in this shirt actually it's a vibe ta-da here is the first pair of denim shorts oh that's a spoiler alert that there's another one coming but i just think these fit really nicely they are quite tight on me and as i said they are a six but that's fine, I don't really mind, um, I just love them, like they, they look so classy and they look like something you'd see at Topshop. All I need now is Primark to bring out a matching denim jacket with crystals on it. They actually may have had that in store. <gasps> Did I walk past that? I don't know, but yeah. Also my bum isn't too out, which is great, like there's not loads of my butt out, which I appreciate, and just, they're lush. Also, can we spot my lovely little fresh flowers? These are from my new boyfriend. Totally not. Um, they're actually from Big Booty Day Out as a little thank you. So thank you, Big Booty Day Out. But we'll all just pretend that they're from my, like, secret admirer. <laughs> nah. Okie dokie. Now, what is any Primark haul without some pyjamas? Now, Primark are slaying the Disney game recently. Though I had to pick me up some Mickey pajamas. Now, these were £6 and it's a little top and it says, oh, it's not Mickey, it's Minnie actually, Minnie Mouse, and she's just looking all adorable. And then I've got some little shorts as well. I like how these aren't high waisted shorts because, like, when I'm in my pajamas, I've normally eaten a lot of food and I don't like a tight waistband around my waist when I've eaten. Whereas when you eat, I don't feel like it goes onto your hips. Do you know what I mean? It's more comfortable. But yeah, these are just so cute. I I mean, who wouldn't want mini mouse pajamas? My dad maybe, but me. Here are the cutest pajamas ever. <laughs> Hello! We're matching! So my mum had a super hot Sunday for a hot minute, so I thought, yeah. let's get matching pajamas! Let, let's explain why. So, about apologies for me, she's looking beautiful and me looking natural, but you know, she looks naturally beautiful. Oh, so you. the plan is, when we're in America, yeah. in, in Orlando, yeah. in Disneyland, basically, we're gonna get a cute Instagrams of us in pajamas mm. together. So could you like feel sorry for Mama Grimes that she's been forced to wear an outfit for a 19 year old? Well, I think these are probably based more for like yeah, 12 I was year a 12 year old, so we're all gonna look stupid, but you know. So you should follow Mama on Instagram, oh. Kasha, is it underscore Grimes? I'm, I'm pretty sure so. it is. Um, and then come Sweet. July. I think it I'm is. Not sure. Yeah, it must be. We'll leave it down below. Yeah, I will. Or up above. However it goes. It goes down below. Down <laughs> right. Below. And three, two, one. No, no, you need to do it. No, you need to come up and be like, boom, or something. Not like five minutes later. <laughs> I'm really hurt myself. <laughs> I saw this piece and I was like, you slay Primark. You slay. This is lush. You would honestly pay like 
50 quid for this in Zara. I wouldn't even be surprised if they charge that much. That's why you need to go and download Shop Tiger so you don't have to pay 50 quid. This one was 20 pounds and it's like a hot pink denim. Now I'm all about coloured denim. And this is a UK four, but I'll try it on for you all. It doesn't really go with my outfit, but we'll just go with it. Do people get annoyed when I use the phrase, just go with it? Because it's like my lifetime phrase, but I, I notice a few comments, they're like, stop saying just go with it. I'm like, but that's my life mantra. We just go with it. So this is the denim jacket. So can you see how this is a UK four, but it's still quite like an oversized fit. So I would stay true to size if you're getting this. And all the stuff I picked up was in the Topshop Oxford Circus, because personally, I think that is one of the best. I mean, it's like probably their flagship store, so I'm not surprised. Only issue I encountered is I went just at the end of half term. So all the sizes that were like my size were out of stock, but I mean, I still managed to pick up loads of stuff. I don't know how Primark does it, but I still did it. I did spend, I think it was about £100, which, I mean, I got quite a lot of stuff for £100. So you guys are going to, you're going to get to see all the, all the beauties. But no, I absolutely love this. The denim is such good quality. And £20 is a lot of money for Primark, but £20 for such a good quality denim jacket is not too much. Well, yeah, no. It's bright pink. We can't complain. I feel a bit o naked, I'm gonna put my shirt back on. Also, this little off the shoulder top, oh, I've got bits of it, is actually from American Apparel, and I don't really know if they sell American Apparel in England anymore. All the stores shut down, it was very strange, I'm not quite sure what was going on there. It might still run in America, who knows, but I mean, you could literally get this little crop top from anywhere. Am I the only person that wears something but still keeps the price tag on it? Whoopsies. I always do that, I just can't help it. Also, just a little side note, you could like tie this and it could, you see? Yes, yes. Multi-use items, we love them. Okay, the next item I picked up has actually been a game changer for me. Now, we all know I don't really wear a bra because I don't have anything to put in it, but I've always been that person that couldn't really be bothered to wear nipple flowers because they're quite expensive and like you, you don't, you can't really reuse them and they're uncomfortable and they hurt and everything like that. Well Primark has saved the day. They've got these silicone petals, oh they actually are kind of petal shaped. So they're a nipple cover that you can reuse and because they're silicone, you know when you wear clothes and you wear the flower ones and you can still see the damn nipple covers because they've got like a texture to them. These honestly, you can't see anything. You can't see anything. I had to pick up another pair. These are only two pounds and they will change your no bra wearing days life. I am not over exaggerating. I know that sounds very extreme, but it's the truth. So another thing Primark are slaying is the t-shirt game. Now I managed to pick up three. Um, let's start with this bad boy. So this is a white, funny enough it's white. Everyone can see that Misha. Um, it's a California tea. So if you guys didn't know, I'm actually going to California, I'm going to, that, LA's in California, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm going to LA this summer for like a week in July. If you're an American YouTube person or an American brand and you'd like to do something awesome in America, that was a really long sentence, but you guys know what I mean, then let me know, mess me on Instagram. But yeah, this top was only £2.50. Now I know it's only like a basic white tee, but how good is that for the price? And I have these red, really cute little, um, little, pretty little thing shorts, which would look adorable with this. And I can imagine it like white sneakers, because you know, I'll be in America and they call them sneakers. So I'm gonna call them sneakers. This outfit is so America ready. I've stolen my red little, pretty little thing shorts that I hauled last Sunday and teamed with this top because, oh, oh. I do hate these stickies they put on. I am not a label. But no, I, I think this is a really cute look. This would also look really nice with a little yellow, yellow, yellow little denim mini skirt that I have. So easy, breezy, it's not see-through. Brilliante, shillante. Next t-shirt is a Disney one because as I said, Primark, just your Disney stuff is insane. Some of you may think this is a pajama top, but I do not. This was four pounds, which I mean, it's a really nice quality t-shirt, like honestly. And I got this one in a UK six. It says 
Summer Smile. I don't know if that's a Disney voice or a Mickey voice. I'm not even sure. But he's eating watermelon. <gasps> oh my gosh. I need to get a photo in America of me in this t-shirt with space buns eating watermelon in Disney. Because, yes, I will be going back to Disney, hopefully. Not everything's been confirmed, but I am kind of building up my Disney merch items so that I can get some really cute Disney photos in my Disney items in Disneyland. Yes. Or Disney World. Ooh. Well, isn't this just damn adorable? And I mean the top, not me, of course. But no, this is so comfy. It's just a really easy throw on top. I feel like who wouldn't want Disney attire? Like, even if you're not going to Disney, I still think these look cute. Honestly, I do think the Disney style stuff is just like, it's very on trend at the moment, you know? A bit like unicorns and mermaids used to be. Do you remember when everyone had a mermaid blanket? Yeah, I do, I do. I love it, I love it. Lastly, just another basic one in a UK four. This one was also £2.50. It's just a white one that says Mon Cherie. Mon Cherie? Is that French? Is Mon Cherie French? It sounds French. It's just got a cherry on it. I'm just, considering I'm such like an over-the-top dresser, I do love just your basic tees with like little slogans or little images just because if I had loads going on on my trousers and like loads going on like here I need a little bit of plain it's a bit like if I wore another colour or a different pattern with this shirt and this skirt it would just be way too much so yeah that's when I, I mean this wouldn't really go in colour but you guys see what I mean about like the whole plain tea thing. You can make it work even for the over the top person. Can we see how much wear I'm gonna get out of these red pretty little thing shorts? I'm literally teaming them with every single t-shirt. But this t-shirt would probably be see-through if I had like a bra on, but thanks to those little stick-on silicone thingamorbies, you can't see anything. How brilliant. Let's pretend this is me basically modelling them or trying them on, but without being half naked on the internet. So yes, I love this top, it's really cute, it's really sweet, it would go really nicely also with black denim, like a black denim jacket would look really, oh I think I have one, I do. What I need now is white trainers, a red lipstick, and a black, I'm going to have to style this up, I'm sorry people. Bam, pretty little thing and Primark outfit put together in like 0 0.5 seconds, oh forgot that bit of my belt. But I love this as a look. Ooh, festival summer vibes come at me. We got a problem. Don't know why I'm trying to do American accents in this video. Maybe I'm just very excited for my American adventure. So, next up we have this little play suit. Now I haven't tried this on, so I'm praying and hoping that it looks cute because the top bit does look quite wide. Um, I've got this in a small, because I think that's the smallest they did, and this was £6, and it's like this tropical print. It's a neckline that I like, that, I mean, I don't plan on wearing it that low, because the puppies would be out, but it's like a flamingo thingy. I'm literally so bad hoping this looks cute, but it could look like a sack. I suppose we'll see. Well, this is the definition of a disappointment. I look like I'm wearing a rah-rah skirt, but not in a good way. I don't think the space buns are helping the situation, but I genuinely look like a three-year-old. Like, have I, have I got it on wrong? Is it supposed to stick out this much? I don't know. The back's nice. Maybe I should just walk around like this. Like, hi people, I'm Misha, nice to meet you. How you doing? I need to stop doing this because I'm going to feel so sick. Okay, these shoes may actually have to be my favourite thing that I pricked up in this Primark haul. So, it's these bad boys. How beautiful are these? They're like a nudie colour. They also have them in black and they're slides. I mean, people, I swear I silenced my emails. Oh, it's my phone going off. Let me silence. We're back in the room. We're back in the room. They're slides. I'm addicted to slides. Every single Super Bowl Sunday for probably the foreseeable future is going to have a pair of slides on it. And these are jazzy slides. They aren't furry slides. They're more like nighttime appropriate slides when I'm feeling a bit more classy but still want to laze around in slides. And I did actually get these in a five. It's really weird. I swear my feet have shrunk. 
I swear they've shrunk. Because they used to be a six, and now I'm more like a five, and I feel like with slides, you can get a smaller size, because your feet just kind of slide around in them. But yeah, these were like eight pounds, which is such a bargain for how beautiful the details are. You go Primark, you go. Okie dokie shmamoki. So, I also spotted this little bikini top. Now again, I didn't buy the bottoms, because the only bottoms they had just I don't really want to put very nice on my body shape. You know, everyone has like a shape of bikini bottom that they like on themselves. And I like quite like, not like a high rise, but like a shaped bottom. And all they had was like tie sides. And I just, I, it just nips and tucks and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, so I picked up this because it's such a beautiful neon orange. And this was only two pounds. Two pounds. That's insane. And again, because it's a six, it does look like it would be a little bit big on my chest. But I feel like if I ruffle, oh yeah, if I ruffle that together, then it's fine. And although I'm not gonna have like cleavage in the central, in the central, in the center here, um, I like these bikini tops because they do have a bit of lining in them. So it gives you like a little bit of shape, but it's not padded by any means. It's literally just a bit of fabric. So yes, easy breezy. Again, I have some orange bottoms that I shall team it with and I hope that they are the same shade. Ooh, okay. So I think this orange may actually be my favorite. I love this color and I just have like a little bit of dodgy fake tan, one layer left on. I'm really not that brown right now, but I feel like it makes me look more tan. It makes me look alive. But also these tops are really useful for me to not only wear as bikini tops, but to wear like underneath things. So you know I get all those like meshy like dresses. You need something to wear underneath or if you're wearing like a little cami and you can go for a bikini top because then if it shows, it looks like it's on purpose rather than like you accidentally flashed your bra. But yeah, I love me some bright orange triangle bikinis. I do love triangle bikinis, like this sort of shape of bikini. I think that suits me the most. The cupped ones, just look really odd on me. So I do think with bikinis, it's finding a style that looks nice on your body and that you feel comfortable in and that you're not gonna fall out of and everything like that. Another pair of shorts, but these ones are baby pink. So what is not to love? I don't actually own a pair of baby pink shorts or pink shorts for that matter in a denim. And I was like, well, that needs to change. So Primark, I shall purchase you. Now these ones were only, £10, so they were £7 cheaper than the denim ones, as in the blue ones, because obviously they don't have the crystals. They're a completely different shape, so they're, I think they're both high-waisted, but they just look different, like the, the fit looks different. Um, so we shall see when I try them on. We can decide which ones we prefer, but I mean, pink does kind of steal my heart. Okay, how weird is it that the last size 6 shorts were a bit tight? And then these ones are a bit big. Like, they're still fine. Like, I can totally wear them. But I don't get how the sizing is so strange. Strange. I said strange way too many times. But I actually don't like the look of these as much as the blue denim ones. I still really like these. And I'm still definitely going to keep them. Because I need a pair of pink shorts. I mean, I don't need. <laughs> Who needs pink denim shorts? But I'd like them. But yeah, these ones, I think these ones show my bum a little bit more. Ooh, cheeky. But, I mean, they're pink denim ripped shorts. There's not really much you couldn't like about them. And also, I do think they look quite nice with black. So, yes. I'm gonna come a wee bit closer because it's time for some accessories. Now, I may have accidentally bought two pair of sunglasses because I preferred these ones. Oh, the like tag bit stuck to my head. Can we, oh, I feel like I need to. These were three pounds, by the way. Ow, I'm actually gonna hurt myself. Here we have the sunnies. They're like a pink to yellow ombre, and they're in an aviator style, which I really appreciate. They're just really funky. And I think they say that they are UV protection, but category one. So I'm assuming for three pounds, they're probably not gonna keep your eyes that safe, but it's the thought that counts. And then these ones were one pound, and these are lilac ones, because what would a haul be without lilac? Yes. I preferred the pink ones. Scarlet preferred these ones, because Scarlet did help me in my shop. Um, so yeah, 
I mean, I'm only really gonna wear these fashionably, but for a pound, I can't complain. Did actually also get these earrings, which I mean, these ones I'm wearing right now are actually from Primark. I love a good tassel earring. And I really appreciated these because they've got a little pearl and then they've got all these like multicolored strings. So I was like, oh, they'll go really nicely with everything. How long has that bit of lipstick been on the side of my face? I am so sorry if that's been annoying you this whole entire haul. One item I actually got from the sale section was this jumper. Now it says, love will save us. Or is that well? No, will. Love will save us, apparently. Um, and this is in a UK six. And this was two pounds two pounds two pounds for a jumper people two blooming pounds they're basically giving it away i wouldn't have probably bought this if it was any like as in i wouldn't have probably bought this full price but because it was two pounds i was like well i'll wear it traveling i'll wear it somewhere i don't even know two pounds i have to have it why misha thought it was a good idea to do space buns for a try on haul is besides me but anyway this is the jumper on now i've just teamed it with the shorts and again this is another one of my like america road trip outfits that I plan on wearing because it's just really cool, cash, keeps you a bit warm up top but your legs can be free. Yes I am wearing slipper socks because it's not warm in England and right now I'm sitting in my bedroom in a pair of shorts covered in goosebumps. You guys are very welcome. The things I do for YouTube. We're reaching nearish the end. Nearish. So I had to pick up another Disney piece. I'm sorry, people. But how adorable is this? So it's a little Mickey crop top. This one was £5. And it's in like a ribbed material. And I really love this sort of neckline. I think it's so flattering. Who wouldn't want a little Mickey Mouse on their bosom? These are the sort of tops with those little sticky nipple covers are perfect because this isn't the sort of top i'd want to wear a bra with and you know if you're spending a day at disney who wants the uncomfortable feeling of a bra all day not this gal so yes adorable red shorts happy days i mean it's april i'm not going to america until july but i seem to be buying all the clothes for it someone get me to disneyland paris oh no not paris it'll be cold in paris Disney World. Whichever Disney World you want to take me to, that is absolutely fine. But how cute is this little top? The shape isn't actually as like nice as I thought it would be. Because I feel like it comes up a little bit... I don't know if it should be more like that or like that. I'm not really sure. But it is still really cute. So I might just have to try and work with the neckline. See what we can do. Again, it's with the red shorts because red is life. I had to get my hands on another pair of sandals. Now, to me, these scream Valentino. And I honestly think Primark do some of the best Valentino dupes. These are just some nude sandals. They've got gold spikes. So I have some from last summer that are grey with silver spikes. I'm not even sure where they're from. I'm pretty sure it was a random market. But I was like, oh, in the summer I wear quite a lot of gold and then nude goes with everything. So I just thought that was brilliant. These were six pounds and they're, they're really robust. Yeah, like that. I don't know why I'm enjoying that, but anyway. Perfect for any occasion. They're actually quite like a dressy sandal, so if you're wearing like a pretty dress, it wouldn't look weird. Lastly, we have another bikini top because apparently I don't have enough bikinis when I literally have a thousand. So this one I also got in the UK six, and I feel like this one actually might be my fave because I like the shape of the cup, like it looks quite small. This one was eight pounds, and again, the bottoms were not calling my name, so I can team these either a bright pink bottom or a black bottom, and they have little flamingos on them. I don't know if you guys can see that detail, but who doesn't want flamingo boobies? Like, I feel like I've said boobies so many times in this haul. This seems to be a very boob-related video. I'm not quite sure why, but we'll just go with it Ta -da! okay so this is just the black flamenco bikini now i've teamed it with my little black bikini bottoms they're just ones that i like and i mean it goes perfectly i do have a pink pair misguided but i'm not quite sure the pink is correct but i could get bottoms from asos from misguided from pretty little thing anywhere just to match this bikini the only thing is do these string bits look a bit weird like, I'm not sure if they look a bit strange. 
Let me know down below what we think of them. Hmm, not sure. Is that everything I picked up? Oh. I also did actually get some a mini micellar water for when I'm travelling, which was 90p. So I think that's quite a bargain. That is absolutely everything that I picked up from Primark. This has been a very long haul. I'm very sorry, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it nonetheless. Let me know um, what your favourite piece is because all of it is mine. I am going to shut up now. I'm going to finish off this haul. I hope you're all having a fabulous fabulous sunday i hope it's okay weather i hope it's nice and sunny right now outside it's like minus 20 not literally but it feels that way and then mum was telling me that apparently next week it's gonna be 22 degrees i'm like surely not that can't be a thing no but hopefully i will eat my words i hope so but yeah i'm so british because i've now started talking about the weather for about 10 minutes i'm gonna shut up make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i would absolutely love it if you could turn on the post no 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 that's instagram turn on the bell or click the bell so that you guys know exactly when i upload because yes i'd absolutely love you to do that okay misha zip your lips shut up i always panic that i've forgotten something i mean you could follow me on instagram as well misha underscore grimes because you guys will see so many of these pieces styled up and yeah toodle pip love you guys lots happy super haul sunday happy every day of the week if in case you're not watching this on a sunday toodle pip love you guys lots bye bye Mwah.